Hello everyone, this is the big one. I have just found a way how to mute all of your participants in the Google Meet with just the press of one button. Just one. I have found a way how to just press one button or just press one thing and it will mute everybody in your Google Meet who is talking. Of course, you are the host and I think it can even work for the students as well or the participants as well. But this one is mainly for the host of the Google Meet, you know, like the educators, the teachers, whosoever is doing their Google Meet presentation. This one is for you. How to mute everybody with stocking. So let's say you have a class of 10 or more and they're all going at it at the same time and you just want to quiet everybody down at that instant. Yes, on Google Meet, I have found a way. You no longer have to run to Zoom for that. Google Meet, I have found a way. And it is what we call a Chrome extension. Now, obviously, this is for the laptop. Yes, it cannot be done on a mobile device, not a tablet, nor a phone, only for the laptop, okay? Or your desktop PC with Windows, of course, or a Chromebook, you know, in one of those desktop, laptop type of PC. This is for you. Anyway, this is called mute tab you can go on google and search for mute tab extension and i realized it's there is two mute tab extension that can be used there is this one by i don't even know how to pronounce it <laughs> His name who created this this extension but this is not the one where I'm using up this one could probably be used but this is not the one I'm using there's another one so I went on the second link and there's another one by Mary Dev is the is the author is the author of this one is the one who I guess created the, the, the extension just look for the, the muter with the big red icon in it that's the one all you need to do of course make sure you are on your google chrome it must be on your google chrome you have to use your google chrome browser your chrome browser this is the only way you can use it on your chrome browser so make sure you're on your chrome browser all right and you search for mute tab Make sure it's this one with the big red icon slash three and it's done by Mayor dev now once you read to the the extension you just add it to the chrome it looks it to want to add the extension just follow the prompt add the extension and it's done it says the chrome tab has been added and anyway that came up no i can close that that's not necessarily so as you can see it says remove that mean it is already added all right now what you want to do you want to go in this little funny looking icon up here between your letter your little your letter and the bookmark tab this little one press and you will see the extension you need to click the little pin extension to pin it to the browser now you see pop up and you can close now this is it now so let's go in your google meet presentation it is already there and all you need to do <laughs> once everybody is talking you just simply press mute well press right now when i pressed it it's on so they can all hear me then when I press it again, 
it's also all those who are on my presentation will be muted just as simple as that this is the main thing but the main purpose of this extension this chrome extension is that it mutes the tab so if you were to have a, a youtube video going plain it will also mute that 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 video so you have to be mindful of that but the main thing is that it mutes the persons in your google meeting <laughs> it mutes all of them at once all of them at once yes no what will happen though when you have pressed the mute icon right there and they are muted their mic that is down here it will still be open you know because as i said it's actually muting the tab not the little mic so their tab their um mic icon will be still open but it doesn't matter they are still muted now what i do i use another extension there's another one that i use to lit and this one now mutes all of their mic tab or their mic icon but it's a bit slow so that's why i have to go for the mute tab one and then use this other one this other one now will literally mute their icon so their icon will be muted but the reason why i don't go for the second one because it's a little bit slow if you have like 20 persons in a class and you press mute it's gonna mute them a little bit slow so what i normally do i use this one that i use now that i've installed i use it to mute them then i click the second one to mute their mics yeah. yes yeah. and then after that i will when i want i can still teach and all of that and they will hear <laughs> yes but then yeah. i will once this second one that i'm going to be installed i've installed then i will use it to mute them now which mute their mic icons like this down here and then i'll unselect that okay so the next so i'll go search for the next um chrome extension so it's another extension i don't remember the name of it it's called mute all unmute mute all unmute so i'm going to search for that I just wrote down the name somewhere. Mute all and mute. So you go to Google and you search for that. Mute all and extension. Mute all and mute extension. And there it is, mute all and mute. It's another Chrome extension. You add, as I said, it does mute, but it's a little bit slow. So I generally use it secondly, second time around. All right, so I am now adding the extension of install and I'm now adding. And then I have to go inside this little tab and activate it with this little pin option there it is now it will show here so i go in my google meet and there it is now for it to come up properly i probably i have to restart my google meet um meeting so i'm gonna just step out for a bit rejoin And there is the, 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 the icon. This is the second Chrome extension I use. Yes. So what I normally do, as I said, this second one, it has this little red icon because it's kind of a bit slow, when, especially when you have a large class. If you are just muting one person, you can use it. 
probably two, but if you're muting, say five, ten person going at it, it's going to be a little bit slow. So I don't use this mute and army, the second one. Here it is, this is it, and this is also this little red icon. I use the first one, the mute tab. So whenever the class is going at it, meaning they're talking and they're being disruptive, I just use this one, it's now muted, so I will select it and it will mute everyone. Once they are all quiet, then I go for the second one and select it and press it and it starts muting everybody and you will see it is actually muting them bit by bit. And you can still be talking while this is going on. Yes, you can still talking while this is going on. And then now once they are all muted by the second app, then I will disable now the mute tab icon, which is the first app that I've installed. I disable it. Then now if they want to, to talk again, they can talk. But the, whenever I select the first extension, which is the mute tab, I can still talk. And it doesn't matter how much they are talking, they will not come out. Then they will be quiet. They will be very quiet. You won't hear them. Okay, so once this mute tab, this first extension that I've installed is selected, they will be quiet. And you can teach or present or do whatever you want without any form of disruption. Okay, so I hope I solve a major problem with these two. Chrome extensions that you can add to your Google Meet for effectively delivering your content, your lesson, or your presentation without any disturbance. You know, you can now mute just by pressing one and it mutes. Now, remember, I did say you don't need the second one, but I use it because when I press the first extension, the mute tab extension, what it does, it, as I said, their mic still will be open, their mic icon still will be open, but yes, they will be muted. Now, I only use the second one for muting the actual mics like that. But then now, once their mic is muted, I will unmute the first step. Play around with them, have fun with them, use them wisely. They will make your life better, I can tell you. Yes. Anyway, have a good one. I hope you find some value in this video. Okay, everyone, have a good one and goodbye. Until next time.